Good afternoon, I am back in the BMW X5 because it is far superior to all the other vehicles that I own, which is pretty much exactly what Hertz have said about their Teslas. They're getting rid of them because the petrol and diesel is far superior. So 20,000, that's quite a lot, Hertz sells off 20,000 electric cars as drivers stick with petrol. The rental giant expects to take a 190 million pounds hit after blaming weak demand and high repair costs. So basically what's happened is the US rental giant Hertz has bought a load of Teslas because they thought that everybody would want electric cars to rent out, but they don't. Hang on a minute. Don't all the EV people always say that EVs don't have any repair costs. I thought that was the whole thing, wasn't it? They don't need servicing because you don't need to check the oil or change the cam belts. So why would they get rid of 20,000 cars that have a lower repair cost than, than an equivalent petrol or diesel? It's almost like that's a lie, isn't it? Um, Hertz said it will sell the vehicles over the next year and expected to take a uh, 193 million pounds or $245 million hit as it reversed plans to massively expand its electric car fleet. The company is selling off a range of makes and models, but is expected to offload thousands of Teslas. More than 600 are already listed for sale on its website. Uh, three years ago, Hertz said they were gonna buy 100,000 Teslas, that, a move that pushed Tesla's market share beyond a trillion dollars. However, Hertz said, that renting out electric cars had proved to be less profitable than traditional vehicles, and the cars had also come with higher repair costs. That bit is hilarious. Higher repair costs on a Tesla. Drivers also still want petrol and diesel powered cars. Hertz said it would reinvest a portion of the proceeds from the sale of EVs into the purchase of internal combustion engines to meet customer demand. Basically, we could translate that as saying it hasn't worked. We're getting rid of all these EVs because they're a crock of shit and we're going to buy petrol ones like we should have done in the first place. The sell-off, which applies only in the US, does it? Does it really? You're telling me that if Hertz in the UK own a load of Teslas, they're not going to follow suit because you can guarantee the same thing will be happening. The only people that rent electric cars are YouTubers who are trying to prove other YouTubers wrong. As well as agreeing to buy 100,000 Teslas, it committed to 65,000 vehicles from Polestar. What did I just say? Volvo's electric subsidiary. They're all made in China, it doesn't count. If you own a Volvo that's after about 2001, not a proper Volvo. Last year, it said a quarter of its fleet would be electric by the end of 2024. However, deliveries to date have been well below those headline numbers. The company said the decision to sell thousands of cars was taken to better balance supply okay calm down jeff come on serious videos now listen to this the decision to sell off thousands of cars was taken to better balance supply against expected demand of evs nobody wants them this will position the company to eliminate a disproportionate number of lower margin rentals and reduce damage expenses associated nobody wants them and they're expensive to fix. So we're gonna sell them all, all of them. I just translated that for you, if you don't speak marketing. Hertz said that investing in petrol powered cars would improve profitability. Do I need to do that one as well? We make more money with cars that work than electric ones that don't. It added that it hoped to make electric car rentals more profitable in the future by expanding charging stations and improving access to repairs. Think about it though, when you hire a car, it's because you need a car. It's not because you don't, hiya, can I hire a car? Yeah, sure, no worries. Um, where do you need to go? I don't, I don't really need to go anywhere, to be honest. Oh yeah, you'll be sweet with an electric one. Think about it, when you hire a car, it's because you need to be somewhere. Hiya, I'd like to hire a car. Um, do you wanna hire a petrol one or an electric one? Well, what's the difference? Well, if you need to fill up your petrol one to go somewhere, it takes approximately four minutes and there's pumps pretty much everywhere. Right, what about the electric one? Well, you've got to work to find an electrical charging place. Then you've got to wait around for 45 minutes and then you've got to have an app, the correct app, and then you've got to pay for it and it's often more expensive than petrol. Right, what, why, why would you hire the electric one? There isn't a single 
valid reason to hire the electric one. Not one, except maybe if you're hiring it in London for a day and are going in. Why would you go? I've said this in all my videos. Just don't go to London. Seriously, stop it. Hutt's chief executive, Stephen Shear said last year the plummeting value of used electric cars also made them less profitable. Data from car gurus compiled by HSBC showed the values of the top 10 used electric cars had fallen by 28% in the US last year and 20% in the UK. Of course, that's probably on top of the percent that they fell the year before. Um, they're absolutely bombing. Don't let the evangelists fool you by saying things like, oh, there were more electric car registrations than ever before in 2023. Yes, there were, because the dealers can't sell the electric cars, so they are registering them and then pretending that they're second hand. So then two things happen. They say, oh, look, the number of registrations for electric cars are up. And they say, oh, look, the number of second hand sales for electric cars are up. Two things that are both true, that are both manipulated data. A brand new car with nine miles on the clock cannot be claimed as a good thing for a registration and a good thing for a second-hand sale. They can't shift them. Look at the deals on Volkswagen ID buzzes right now. They'll basically pay you to rent one for a month. They're that cheap. And that was a car with a two-year waiting list. Rental car companies are heavily affected by falling used prices because they regularly recycle their fleets, buying cars new and selling them within two years. That's exactly how it works. If a car has massive depreciation, you can't put it on your fleet because that's the way fleets work. That's the why there's going to be a knock on effect in everything. All of these companies that have been incentivized in the UK into buying electric cars, they're all pinned to the depreciation because the residual value matters. So when we get this knock on effect where companies are saying, hang on a minute, we bought 20 Teslas and we lost a fortune. When we bought 20 diesel Skoda Superbs, after the three-year lease was up and they went to auction, they all made reasonable money, which meant that it didn't cost us too much. But with all of these electric cars we bought, A, most of them broke within the first three years anyway, and B, when they went to auction, nobody wanted them. I right, uh, government, can we go back to diesel? Because it just worked better for us as a business. It's all got to happen. Hertz sells used cars directly on its website and was selling Model 3 vehicles for as low as $17,700, less than half the price of a new model. The vast majority of electric cars currently listed for sale are Teslas, although it's said the sale of 20,000 cars would cover multiple makes and models. Hertz shares fell by almost 5% on Wall Street. I think that if you want to buy a Tesla and you're in the USA right now, that is a bargain. Go and buy a Hertz Tesla for about $20,000 and you have got yourself a cheap car if a Tesla works for you. But the problem is, for the vast majority of normal human beings, electric cars don't work, as has been proven by Hertz Rent-A-Car. Yeah, nobody wants them. Nobody wants them, apart from all the people that do. And they hate you and they absolutely hate me, but they love themselves. And as Lee would say, the smell of their own farts. But honestly, my, I, I know I've got some followers that drive electric cars and I know you're in the comments. And, and when electric car people comment in my videos, I always try to say thank you because I try not to be abusive to electric car people. I, I don't call them beige trouser wearing, dogging, swinging, triangle sandwich eating lunchbox people like one of my friends does. But... I just feel like these car, these electric cars, they need to be sold on their merits and their merits are very few or their merits only apply to a very small amount of people. I know that I have followers who have electric cars and an electric car works for you. That is brilliant. I don't have a problem with someone buying a $20,000 Tesla and running it for virtually free because they can charge it at home. That's fantastic. But for most of us, it doesn't work. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for, oh, hit the subscribe button as well, because when I get to 115,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away a car in a treasure hunt, a free car. All you'll have to do is watch the video to find out where the car is and then film yourself trying to get there before everybody else does. When I get to 115,000 subscribers, that's what I'm going to do, because I didn't really do anything to celebrate 100,000, but 115,000, I'll be pleased with that, uh, and you can probably work out why. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your weekend.